oh, 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 the party's arrived. <laughs> I, uh, I spend a lot of time in coffee shops, and my favourite thing to do in coffee shops, you guys can steal this if you want. Um, whenever a male barista serves me and asks me for my name, I just give the name on his name tag. <laughs> so he's screaming his name really loudly for ages. <laughs> For ages and ages, and eventually he'll get sectioned. <laughs> I'm not great at talking to people, and we have to talk to people in coffee shops. Uh, the last time I went into her, this guy asked me what I wanted to drink, and I said, whatever's easiest for you. <laughs> Which confused him. And he said, well, it's your drink. And I counted that with, well, it's your shop. <laughs> and then he made my drink and he said, sugar. And I said, no, it's sir to you. <laughs> I'm a very shy person. I think the worst place to be shy is in the hairdressers. I was getting my hair cut fairly recently and this guy said, what do you do in this weekend? And I just looked at him and I said, I'm getting my hair cut. <laughs> sat in silence for 20 minutes. <laughs> I have a lot of fears in life. My biggest fear in life is taxi drivers, just because I think the taxis are always going to crash. And I don't want my last words to be, don't call me mate. <laughs> I was doing a shop recently, quite a big shop, and uh, there was this quite older woman behind me in the queue. And uh, she asked me if she could go ahead of me in the queue, because uh, she said, you've got a lot more than I have. Can I go ahead of you, would that be okay? Now what a normal person would say is, yes, of course, it's fine, go ahead. But what my brain told me to say was, you've lived through two world wars, you can live through this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 20 now, I've never been confident. I was never confident as a teenager. I was that guy in schoolhouse parties who didn't go. <laughs> I went to one house party when I was 16 years old, not by choice, obviously. And uh, this guy came up to me and he said, and he said, MCAT, and I had no idea what to say to that. So I just said, hey, I'm Sea Dog, nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you know what really annoys me about people is when someone's describing a house party they were attending, and then it turns out that the party was actually in a flat. <laughs> really annoys me. <laughs> so I was in this flat party and there were some substances going around, mainly hummus. <laughs> but there were some drugs going around as well and like I said, I don't like talking to people. I'll watch them but I won't talk to them. And, uh, <laughs> I was looking at this one guy a bit too intensely because he was he was uh, he was snorting substance off a key, and uh, he turned to me and he said, "What are you looking at, mate?" And I was going to say nothing, but I panicked and I got confused. And I said, "You kiss your mother with that nose." <laughs> To my music. Uh, do you guys like Coldplay in London? Uh, okay, uh, I don't. Uh, I've got an impression of uh, Chris Martin from Coldplay if you want to see it. Yeah. Uh, uh, count on guys, just in three. Three, two, one. No, Gwyneth, don't leave me. Quick story. Um, a couple, about five years ago, I met Prince Charles. Uh, now, personally, I'm not a royalist, but I love a good handshake. Um, he was doing a state visit in Cardiff, where I live, and um, he shook my hand and he said, I hope you're not missing anything important for this. And I told him I was studying for my GCSEs. He said, Good luck with that. He wished me good luck at my GCSEs, and then a week later I failed my physics exam. 
Um, now I'm not saying the two things are connected, <laughs> but I think he killed Diana. <laughs> Thank you.